Following their collapse in Canberra, where a 14-0 lead ended up in a 30-point thrashing, Newcastle faced the sizeable task of halting Canterbury's newfound momentum. The Dogs had won three straight after sitting last on the ladder less than a month ago. However, they found themselves under attack from the opening whistle by the embarrassed Knights. Jubilee then trying to bring them in. Rocco score! Rocco scores for Newcastle. Gigli played it beautifully and gave the ball precisely at the right time for Rocco to score the first try of the day. Sudden Rocco straightens up beautifully in the hole, cuts back against the grain, and goes through like a hot knife through butter. Gradually regaining his touch and timing, Ben Barber posed a major threat. The Barber, Barber gets it away and then gave it to Reynolds who gave it to Barber. Well, then he's taken to ground like a with a tackle. Players go in from all over the place. One of those players in Knights Centre, Joey Leilua, was placed on report for illegally upending the Canterbury custodian. That was the only smudge on an otherwise faultless beginning by the home side. Here's Mullins. And Chips and here's Nagama. He's over and scored. That's his eighth try in ten games of first grade football. Kevin Nagama. Down by 12-0, the Blue and Whites employed the short passing between forwards that was so successful last season. And now it's going for Brown to Pritchard, Pritchard's over. He goes to the line, he feigns out the back to play short. Mullen is caught flat-footed, Rocco hasn't got the energy, and Big Frankie crashes over alongside the path, the post. Robbie Rocco's armless bump on Trent Hodkinson in the closing seconds of the half drew a penalty that gave the Bulldogs halfback a real gimme in front of the sticks. Reducing Newcastle's once healthy buffer to just four at the break. The second half was a carbon copy of the first, with Wayne Bennett's boys taking just five minutes to strike. There's not much, there's not much organisation. He is a chance, it's a try for Matt Bennett. Darius Boyd here. Boyd, he's got the vision and the skill to put the ball in behind there for Jones McManus. That's great skill. After dropping that one perfectly off the toe, Boyd backed up down the middle like a good fullback should. Here's Roberts, he's through, he got it away to Boyd and Boyd's over. Newcastle again. It scored. Roberts snuck through, Boyd backed him up and he said give it, give it, give it and Boyd has scored. Boyd backs up. Muscles his way to the end goal, and that's a great try. The other number one engaged in a lively conversation with Willie Mason, proving that you don't need social media to make your thoughts known to the world. But this verbal joust was not only a mismatch in size, but becoming so on the scoreboard as well. Mason, Mason Swerve's got a ball around the corner to Cuthbertson. That was a pearler. Gidley on to Roberts. Roberts away. Lay Lua. Lay Lua scores for Newcastle. Second term was surprisingly lopsided, with the Knights looking remarkably sharp. Mullen to kick and getting the ball is Gagai. Gagai going for the line, gives it to Gidley. Mullen's kicking game and control was wonderful. Boyd was equally devastating, and Newcastle close to perfect. Nagama's gone for the corner, turns it up and goes in to score. Nagama's try was the fifth straight by the Rampant Knights in a dominant final 40 resulting in an amazing swing of 66 points in just seven days. David Rollins, NRL.com.